you talk a great deal in your book about how racism in sports is set up to emasculate, castrate black males and to keep them in fear and confusion. Can you kind of talk about how that, that process plays out? You know, we take a good example like Barry Bonds, he was in a dress. Dennis Rodman, he was in a dress. We have Terrell Owens, you know, in makeup. You know, uh, we have these players that just buffoon themselves and, and just like minstrel shows, you know, off the field. And when I think of when I when I think of Michael Vick, that's who I think of. Because Michael Vick represents black people as a whole in America. So he's part of the housing boom. And he's part of the fall. When you look at it on a macro scale. When he signed that $137 million contract, his owner knew that he was already fighting dogs. They knew that. They knew he was fighting dogs. They knew they were going to take that $137 million away from him, just like they took the hundreds of thousands of houses away from black people in America. Even though they signed that loan and took money out on that house, those bankers knew they were going to take that money back. They knew they were going to take that house back. They knew they were going to take all that equity out of that house. They knew what was going to go down. And Michael Vick is the bellwether. And so now, what did he say when they took that money away from him? The first thing he said was, okay, judge, you can do whatever you want with me. I'm guilty. And the judge says, you're going to have to live whatever sentence I give you. Months later, if I was Michael Vick, when I was in front of that judge, I would have looked at that judge and said, yes, judge, I'm guilty. I'm guilty, judge, of acting like your ancestors. Because the way I was, the way I was hanging dogs, the same way you was hanging me. The same way I was drowning dogs, the same way you drowned me in the Mississippi River. The same way I let dogs drown, lay in their own blood, the same way you allowed me to lay in my own blood. Yes, judge, I am guilty for this dog rank. But you are also guilty of slavery in America. You haven't paid us our reparations. That's why we are in the condition we are in. That's why there's so many black men in prison. There's so much homosexuality in the black community. You mean to tell me you got pastors going to churches? I mean, pastors going into prisons carrying condoms? The hell is going on here? You see, we got to get the big picture because the black athlete, he needs to take this to the forefront. If the black athlete raised the call for reparations, this whole country would be at a standstill. 